as that tax gets bigger, what's going to happen to the deadweight loss? We're going to have more trades that can't take place, right? If we have a bigger tax. And so we'd, we'd anticipate that this is going to increase the deadweight loss. Okay, so I'm going to have you guys show a $12 tax on this graph. So not larger, but a $12 tax specifically. Now, how can you do that? Well, you could shift the supply curve up $12. That would work just fine. Let me show that here. Shift our supply curve up $12. So each point needs to go up 12. So what have we got? This is 2 needs to go up to 14. There's our new point there. This is 6 needs to go up to 18. There. This is 10 needs to go up to 22. Alright, let me just draw that in there, there's our supply curve with tax, and it touches our, cuts through our demand curve there, so there is our equilibrium with tax. This is one way to do it. I'm going to show you guys a shortcut though. Instead of shifting the supply curve at all, I want you guys to take a $12 height. Here would actually be a good time to get a piece of card um, that your piece of paper that you can fold over on the screen so it's exactly $12 tall. So this is exactly $12, right? And then you're going to take that and shift it to where it just fits in between the supply and the demand curve. And so what you'll find is that you can find, you can stick your $12 piece of paper, $12 strip of paper or whatever, exactly there. That's where it'll fit exactly between the demand and the supply curves. And so that actually is your shortcut to finding an equilibrium with tax. There's the price the buyers are going to pay, $18. There's the price the sellers are going to receive, $6. 18. There's our tax revenue in there, consumer surplus, producer surplus, dead weight loss, tax revenue, consumer and producer surplus, dead weight loss. Okay, so we've definitely got a bigger dead weight loss than we did before, right? How much bigger? In fact, we can know exactly how much bigger this is exactly four times as large. Not twice as big like you might think from double the tax amount, but it's actually four times as big. There's a couple of different ways you can see this. You can recognize that this is the area, this is a triangle, right? And the area of that triangle must have multiplied in four by size because both its dimensions doubled. Right, our tax, our dead weight loss is the area of that triangle, a half times the base times the height. This is one half times, I think of this as the height of this triangle and this as the base. So the height of the triangle is the change in the quantity. The base is the tax per unit. So our tax per unit doubled, right, from 6 to 12. Our quantity change also doubled. It was from 60 down to 50, a change of 10. Now it's 60 down to 40, a change of 20. So our change in quantity is also doubled. So if we're multiplying by 2 there, and we're multiplying by 2 there, then overall we must be multiplying by 4. There's a different way that you can see that. Am I going to be able to remove everything? Nope. I'm going to have to use the eraser. A different way that you can see that is to divide this dead weight loss up into the original area and then three more areas. So there's our original area, two, three, four. We've got four of those same size triangles, our dead weight loss is four times as large as it used to be.